the issues that we face of poverty, of climate change, of uh, uh, leaving too many people behind in the different stages of the development goals are issues obviously of enormous proportions that uh, cannot be solved overnight and are not that simple, otherwise someone would have done it. So they need longer term structural solutions. You take the issue of um, smallhold farming and food security or the issues of deforestation, they often require 10 year plans. Now if you're in a business like ours, let's say the food industry, and you don't tackle these issues, then many people would say uh, at the end of the day you end up not being in business in the first place. We made it very clear that uh, we needed to think differently about the use of resources, we needed to think differently about a more inclusive model of growth and we created the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan which basically says double our turnover, reduce in absolute the environmental impact and increase the social impact. Take uh, agriculture, we made a clear target that we want to be 100% sustainably sourced on our agricultural products. You understand as well as I do that takes time to convert some of these supply chains. You can simply not get uh, sustainable tea overnight or sustainable palm oil. You have to convert whole industries at some points in time. When we introduced the Unilever Sustainable Living Model and started to think about that, we discovered a lot of things that we could do differently. Our factories are now running at zero waste. We've cut our CO2 emission by 70%. We're looking at packaging reductions uh, uh, that we otherwise would never have done. By creating this higher awareness, we're actually able to accelerate a lot of things. If you think about 30-40% of the food getting wasted in the supply chain, let alone that a billion people go to bed hungry, that should be enough of a motivation to attack it. But think about the costs you can take out of the supply chain. Even in a company like Unilever that is very efficiently run, uh, one out of four tomatoes is being wasted in the total value chain. So there is an enormous amount of opportunity now to rethink about how you use your products, how you make them um, reusable. Uh, perhaps an, uh, your waste might be an input uh, for other industries. And as a result, you can indeed create a closed circle, which would be the simple description of the circular economy. So we very much uh, believe in that. That is one of the reasons why you want to go to sustainable agriculture. Uh, you provide people with better livelihoods, you have higher yields, but you also do something that is repeatable now and for generations to come. It's not only a business imperative, it's an imperative to make this world an inclusive world for all of us. As we opened up our model in more transparency. Uh, we also ended up building more trust with our stakeholders, with our partners in the value chain that we worked with. But what is very clear is it is first and foremost very motivational for our employees. Uh, we don't pay the same salaries as the financial sector, that I can tell you, but we have an engagement score or a motivation that has gone up enormously over the last four or five years. We measure this against a benchmark of 8,000 other companies. We've never seen such a big jump. People are proud to work on something where they actually make a difference in life. And that is obviously a purpose-driven business model. Uh, we get 1.8 million people applying to the company now. Uh, we have very low turnover uh, in, in most places that we operate. Uh, we are the third most looked up company in LinkedIn. In 25 of the uh, 30 odd countries that we measure, we are the preferred employer by excellence in those markets. I think we're getting more energy out of the organization, uh, the extra mile which often makes the difference between being a good company and a great company.